Joining us now is political professor Lauren Wright from Princeton University. Professor, thank you so much for coming on the show. Now, as Kellen mentioned, the committee will vote later today on possible criminal referrals for Trump and his allies. The final report is going to be released on Wednesday. Uh, what is the anticipation level like on the release of this report in the world of politics? I mean, it's very high because this is the end and this is the end right before Republicans take control of the House. And so the committee needs to get this work done. I think for political junkies like myself, we're probably paying more attention than the average person. However, this is a historic moment. It's really important. Uh, both because it has po implications politically for Trump's future and future presidents and how they conduct themselves when they leave office. And so it is really important, even if Americans understandably have a lot of other things on their mind. Is it still significant if these wind up being just referrals and the DOJ doesn't take any action on this, no indictments, no charges, and they're just uh, symbolic in what the Democratic or the bipartisan panel, rather, um, has charged the former president with, likely. Yes, because this process has amassed a ton of evidence on top of Trump's impeachment hearings, and the DOJ will perform their own investigation and continue to do so, in fact. And so there are implications for presidential power. Do we hold presidents to account? There's a tradition in this country of sort of handing over uh, presidential power, even when Congress is in control. Uh, they've sort of always referred to the president, especially when it's the same party in charge, um, contributing to that process of expanding presidential power. So it's important for future presidents. Um, it's important politically. And I think your point is a really good one because Yes, we'll likely see criminal referrals. However, the DOJ has a very high bar for criminal charges for any person, in particular the president. And so one does not necessarily lead to the other. And we've seen this for Trump in particular many times is we expect criminal charges and then they don't come because the DOJ understandably has its own process and it's a very stringent one. Does it change the DOJ's calculus if Former President Trump has already launched his bid uh, for office for 2024. Does that does that change things and how uh, Mayor Garland or I guess Jack Smith, the special counsel on this situation, would approach this investigation on, on whether to pursue charges? No, it really doesn't because you know. Even if you're in jail, in fact, that doesn't preclude you from running a presidential campaign. And we saw that in the early 20th century with someone named Eugene Debs. And so the DOJ is paying attention to the Constitution, uh, the requirements for running for president. There are three and the constitutional ones are the ones we stick to. And so there's a very conservative view of this. Um, and so my guess was would be that that has very little to do uh, with the DOJ's ultimate decision. They will ultimately go off of whether they feel they can effectively prosecute this and whether the evidence is there. I do think the congressional referrals maybe increase the probability slightly that the DOJ takes action. I don't think it has no effect on it, but they do have their independent process and that's the way we should want it to work. Of course, Republicans in the House are also planning a rebuttal to Wednesday's report. What should we expect from that? Right. That I do not know what to expect. And I think they have a lot of uh, chaos and organizational issues. Um, on the Republican side of the House right now. And so it's unclear how measured and disciplined and well planned out it will be uh, because frankly, they haven't been organized for very long. And I would be surprised if this is something they've been working on in a very serious way and we haven't heard about it through reporting. So it might be more of a messaging stunt. They might think that's effective. Um, and perhaps the Democrats would do the same thing if the shoe was on the other foot. But to me, it doesn't seem very substantive right now. H however, I could be surprised. And to your point, it seems like more of a political tactic. Yeah. And to your point earlier, you know, uh, even just recommending a conspiracy obstruction charge against a former president, that's a remarkable moment in American history. Yes. 
It really is. And so I think that's the context we should look at this with. I think it's it's always my inclination as a political scientist to say, okay, well, what are the implications for the political process? What does this right. look like for 2024? How does public opinion of Trump change? But really, we need to look at the broad strokes of history and how future leaders of our country will be held to account. And this process is important for making those types of decisions. Dr. Lauren Wright, research scholar and lecturer in politics at Princeton University. Always love having you on the, having you on the show. It's a pleasure. Yeah, nice to see you.